Hi, this is a video to how to put your DVDs onto your iPod or iPod Touch or iPhone. You need uh, two pieces of software, which are um, DVD Shrink, which is that website which I'll put on the more info on the video. You need to download that and then install that. Secondly, the other piece is uh, media coder iPhone slash iPod touch edition which will convert it into the mp4 so you need to download that one there and install that as usual after installing both of those you need to put the DVD into the computer as usual and open up DVD shrink once DVD shrink is opened up as it's your first time you need to go on to edit and preferences. Once on to preferences, you need to go across to output files, and once you see it, it will be split VOB, VOB files into one gigabyte size chunks. You need to unselect that one because you don't want it in one gig ones. You need to unselect it, then click OK. You then need to click reauthor. Then find the DVD when you put in, open that up, come on, then find the main movie title, uh, just title one, what you can see this by the length of it, and drag it across to there. Uh, because I've done this film before, um, it won't come up with the, uh, the thing, but if it's the first time you've put the film on, it'll come up with a preview. It'll have to go through the whole thing, which will only take a couple minutes. That is done. You can edit, you can crop it there, make it smaller and whatever size you want from whatever. Click OK. Then you need to click, um, you can play it in there just to check if, where you want. Then you need to click up, uh, click back up. Then you need to click where where you want it to be stored. Don't matter about this the backup thing. Just uh, where you want it uh, uh, to, to be. Then click OK. Then it will do this. This will take I don't know 10, 15, 10 15 minutes, 20 minutes according to your computer speed. Once that is done, I'll come back. Well, it's just been completed, and uh, it's the VOB file is where you wanted it to be, uh, where you put it to be. Uh, you exit that, then uh, you want to load up Media Coder, uh, Media Coder, sorry, iPhone Edition. Uh, continue. Sometimes it'll make you want to go to the website. So if it does that, just click start there. You don't want to crap. Yeah, then next to that. Uh, then you want to click OK. Sometimes you get that. OK, there. Once you're on, once you're on that. OK, so once uh, Media Coder is open, you want to add the file. Add the file. Which you'll find uh, wherever you keep your wherever you put the uh, VOB file, which would be wherever. Yeah. So once you've clicked the uh, file you want, uh, I'll just run it. Once you found the file, you open that up. Uh, once it's opened up, you can uh, play it down there. And everything else like that. So you want to change the settings. You can go format H.264 or H.2 pass. The two pass bit uh, means slightly better quality, but takes twice as long. So we don't want that. Uh, you keep the uh, resolution of that and the bit rate at six, uh, seven, six, eight. But frames you want to put up to thirty frames a second. <clears throat> Once that's done, you change the output file to wherever you want wherever your videos are and stuff once that is uh, once you've done that uh, you can click the start and it will start to convert it to where you want it this will take in the region like half an hour to an hour
depend on your computer or component. Uh. So I'll I'll come back when it's finished. Okay, I just come I just got back and uh, it's finished doing the thing and got it onto the f um, converted it to the MP4 file. Then you want to open up iTunes. And once that is loaded up. Uh, yeah, you want to file and then add the file to your library as you would do for a video. Then go on the movies and then find Hot Fuzz, which was there. Then once you do that, just connect up your iPod and uh, drag it over and, and send it to the iPod. Then once it's on your iPod, you select the Hot Fuzz. And I'm going to start from the beginning. And you've got it there. And it's extremely good, high quality. So there, that's how to convert your DVDs to your to, for your iPod. Thank you very much, it's Toby Francis.